Hello everyone, welcome to another Unity tutorial. Today we'll be adding gravity, because as Newton said, gravity. We'll first start off by opening our player controller script. The first bug we'll fix is this one right here, where it says character controller controller that camera hides the inherited member camera. So to fix this, we'll put new before the public and error should go away. Then I'll change the public float camera rotation to private float camera rotation. We don't need that to be public. We'll make a private float called gravity float called mouse sensitivity. So we can con public float mouse sensitivity. And this will be used to control the sensitivity of the mouse public float movement speed and lastly we have a public float gravity scale and public floats jump height in the update function let's start off by multiplying our mouse movement by mouse sensitivity so that way that value will actually control something and the second tutorial there was a problem where if we looked up too much we would actually go around the player if that makes any sense so we need to clamp the rotation i'll do this by typing camera rotation equals mathf.clamp and i'll clamp the camera rotation value from minus 90 to 90 so that we can only look all the way up and all the way down and now we need to actually make the player fall let's subtract time from the gravity so that the gravity will be constantly going down. Then I'll multiply this by gravity scale. That way we can specify how much we want the gravity to go. Then, if the controller is on the ground, let's set the gravity to zero, so we're not moving down when we're on the ground. And then we can add jumping. If we are pressing the space bar, so if input that get key down, key code dot space if the space bar is pressed let's set gravity to jump height we need to multiply the movement times movement speed so we can change the movement speed movement equals movement dot normalized times time dot delta time times movement speed what normalized does is that if we are pressing the left and up arrow. We would move left and up, so that means we're moving faster when we're moving diagonally. So that's normalized fixes that problem. And then finally, we need to actually apply the gravity to the player. Let's type controller dot move, and we only want to move up and down. So let's type a vector three dot up times gravity and then multiply this by time dot delta time. So that's it for the script. Let's save it and go back to Unity. So we're back in our Unity project and we have these new values in our inspector. For mouse sensitivity, let's type in two. For movement speed, I'll type five. For gravity scale, I'll type in 25. And for jump height, I'll type in 10. Of course, you can always change these values depending on what you want. So let's press the play button. So I'm jumping right now. And we can go down slopes. And I can now jump up these stairs and fall all the way to the bottom. I'll set the movement speed back to five. So that's it for this tutorial. We added gravity and camera clamping and we added jumping. Make sure to subscribe for more tutorials and comment down below for any more suggestions.